Hello friends, I'm back today with another day of bookmas. Today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite hate to love romances. Um, I think that hate to love is like the superior trope. Um, I prefer the banter, but I feel like a lot of hate to loves re recently have gone to this like hate to benefits to love situation and I'm not about that. So we're not going to have any of those today. What we are going to have is Justified by Jay Crownover. This one is about Case and Aspen. Case is the sheriff in the small town of Loveless, Texas. Um, and he is a single dad who lost custody of his child in the, um, in the like initial custody fight of his divorce from his ex-wife. And Aspen is the lawyer who helped his ex-wife win that custody battle. Um, but now she has had some break-ins at her office and she's been threatened a couple of times and he takes it upon himself because he is the sheriff in town and knows that it's part of his job, even though some people tell him that maybe he shouldn't protect her. But he knows that if he doesn't protect her, then like nobody will. Um, and he has a lot of resentment towards her for working with his ex-wife. Um, and so it takes him a while to understand that like that's her job her job there's a lot of hate on his side um and then there's a lot of resentment on her side for him holding her job against him against her um but yeah this one is so good they have real good banter um when they're first like when she's first asking him for help very good banter yeah. i also have here with me by samantha young this is book one in her adair family series this one's about Robin and Lachlan. Robin initially comes to Scotland because she has she was a cop and she got shot. Um, and so in the process of her healing from that from getting shot, um, her therapist suggests trying to make amends with her father, who is the reason she became a cop. Um, I think he was a cop and now he's a bodyguard for Lachlan Adair. So she goes to Scotland to meet her father. Um, and she has a lot of resentment towards Lachlan and her father because it was like when, when her father left, the, it was like to work with Lachlan. And so she has a lot of resentment towards him for taking her father away. Um, and Lachlan doesn't really like her because he's seen the effect of not having communication with his daughter has had on his friend and his bodyguard. So yeah, they just argue a lot, but it made for really good reading and a really good start to the series. I was super invested in these two and seeing them like sprinkled, like seeing them happy and sprinkled throughout the other books was just so worth it. I also have Tattered Stars by Katherine Cowles. This is book one in the Tattered and Torn series. This one is about Everly and Hayes. When they were younger, Hayes' sister was kidnapped by Everly's father. Um, and Everly is really the reason that uh, his sister was able to escape, that, he, that her father was turned in. Um, and she was kind of swept away from town pretty quickly afterwards due to the threat on her life from her father and the family that's kind of I don't know what the correct term for them were they weren't a cult but they were like what's it called when like you don't abide by when you or when you say you don't abide by the like laws of the state or whatever there's a name for it I forget what it is but her family is kind of like that um and so she's swept away from them pretty quickly after she turns her dad in something happens and she like comes back to take over the land that she grew up on where Hayes' sister was held hostage like held as she was kidnapped um but Everly has this dream of turning it into this animal rescue um and Hayes is the I remember if he's the sheriff or the chief of police or something like that. Um, but he is really not happy when Everly shows back up. Um, he thinks that it's going to be a detriment to his sister um, and her mental health. And he's got a lot of anger towards himself about not being able to protect her from being kidnapped. Um, and even though Everly is the reason that his sister was saved, he doesn't... He doesn't process through to that side of the emotions uh, as quickly as the rest of his family. And so the rest of his family, I think it's like his parents especially, they uh, they like help Everly set up her animal rescue and all that kind of stuff. And he 
kind of keeps getting thrown in, getting like forced to help her, um, even though he really doesn't want to. So this one is a hate to love because Hayes has a lot of resentment towards what happened when they were younger. Um, and it takes him a while to process through that she she's not on the bad guy side, that she is the one that helped. Next up, I have a uh, second chance hate to love, and that is A Little Too Late by Serena Bowen. This is in the Madigan Mountain series with Rebecca Yaros and Devney Perry. This one is Reed and Ava. Um, they had a little bit of a thing when they were in college, um, and it did not end on the best of terms. Uh, Reed and his brothers do not get along with their dad, um, but when he was in college, he always talked about this ski resort that the family ran and everything. So when Ava needed a job, she came to Madigan Mountain Resort and started working with Reed's father. Um, but did, he, she didn't really ever know the history bet between Reed and his brothers and his father. So she thinks that this is Madigan Mountain is the only place where she won't run into him again. Um, and then he is very shocked to see her working with his father. And he feels like she should be like on his side. But he never really told her what was going on. Um, and so because it's not her father, she got a completely different man. She got a completely different vision of his father. She's been working with the father for a long time. And they both feel like the other person has kept something from them even though they haven't spoken in a long time um and she has a lot of resentment because she really thought that they were like on track to be together forever and he broke her heart that's why this one is a hate to love is because it's got that second chance he broke her heart and she um holds a lot of resentment towards him Next up, I have Love at First Fight by Carrie Ahrens. Uh, this one is about Smith and Molly. They are part of this group of friends that has uh, rented this beach house for the summer. Molly was supposed to be there with her long-term boyfriend, um, but right before they were planning to leave to head to the beach house, it was like they rented it for the summer, but they could travel back and forth between the city and the house like whenever they wanted to. Um, right before they are supposed to leave for their first big weekend there, Molly's boyfriend decides to tell her that he has taken a job in Singapore and is moving. So she has put all of this money into this vacation house, and even though it's really his friends, she decides that she's going to go anyway. Um, well, one of his friends is Smith, who she does not get along with. Um, they've never really seen eye to eye in like the whole time she was in a relationship with her ex. So they end up in the rooms that have like the shared bathroom in the house. Um, and so they have a lot of like late, like late night bathroom run-ins and they'll like meet up in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. They kind of get to know each other better that way um, and see that maybe the animosity that they've had towards each other was misplaced. Um, instead of being towards them, it should have been towards the ex-boyfriend. So yeah, I highly recommend this one. It's super short. Um, I need to pick up more by Carrie Aarons. I have this one on my shelf and it's the only one I own, but I remember I really liked it. My final hate to love is Romera and Xander from A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. Um, so Romera is from the human world and she suddenly ends up in this other fey world. Um, and she is kind of running away from somebody but she doesn't really know why she's running um and she ends up actually getting getting captured by Xander and his men um and then learning that he is the prince of this one kingdom in the fey world um but he thinks that she's the princess who just killed his parents from this other fey kingdom. Um, and so that's the hate to love is that he thinks she just killed his parents um, and made him the king and she doesn't know what he's talking about. But yeah, without giving away too much for this series, that's the premise of this first one is big misunderstanding, but he thinks that she killed his parents. So those are some of my favorite hate to love recommendations. Please give me more down below. Like I said, I don't love, I don't love a hate with benefits situation. That's not a hate. That's not a hate. Okay, it's just not. 
But if you have any other books that are kind of like these vibes of what I just recommended, please leave them for me down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye!